only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Hi, this is Amber. I'm one of the plainskeepers from the Indianapolis Zoo, and here we have our two female southern white rhinos, Mambo and Gloria. We've given them a variety of enrichment items, and we have put in some treats in there with some grass hay and alfalfa. They just like to push things around, swing the hay feeder buddy there. Some parking cones, some logs they like pushing around. So Mambo is 22 years old. She weighs 4,700 pounds. And Gloria is 41 years old and weighs 3,800 pounds. So Mambo is more outgoing. She's extremely laid back and is open to new things such as enrichment items, training behaviors. Gloria is a little more on the sassy side. She's a little more temperamental, um, just making her a little more alert and aware of new things. So the way to tell the girls apart, Gloria has the longer horns, and if you look specifically at the secondary horn, it almost has a point to the end. And she also has no hair on the tips of her ears. Mambo has the shorter horns and she has tufts of hair on the tips of both ears. So if you wonder why our rhinos typically always look dirty, we do not bathe them. So they will wallow in the mud just like a pig would do and they coat their skin to protect from insects. It actually clears the dead skin and also keeps them cool in the sun summer months. And these guys love to be scratched and petted. So sometimes we'll apply an oil to their back if their skin is starting to dry out, which typically does in the winter months. Rhinos are poached for their horns. Their horns are different than ivory. It's actually keratin, same stuff as our hair and our fingernails. So the little fibers comprise up to the solid horn that you see. It doesn't necessarily have any nerve endings. However, down at the base, there is almost like a, a bone bud or like a root. The horn will continue to grow through the rhino's life. 